Optifine just dropped for Minecraft 1.21.3 and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to download and install it. First things first, go to this, the second link in the description down below, that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Optifine in text format. We're going to go over everything in this video as well, but if you prefer text, well, we have that for you. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click download Optifine, go to Optifine's official download page. Now at the time I'm recording this, Optifine's still in preview or beta basically. And that means it's not here unless you click preview versions. If it does show up without clicking preview versions, that's a great thing because that means it's released, it's not as buggy, all of that stuff. So go ahead and use that one. Otherwise, click preview versions here and you will see Optifine. And we can come over here and click this mirror link, right like so, to go directly to the download page for Optifine 1.21.3. From here, click on download. And after a few seconds, it will go ahead and start downloading, meaning to keep or save the file like this. And watch downloading coming from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server and start playing Minecraft with your friends in just a few minutes. You can easily add mods and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, if you do have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ sus SGH. Nevertheless, Optifine is now finished downloading. We can see it up here in the top right and we can go ahead and minimize our browser. What we want to do is move Optifine to our desktop. So if I go here to my downloads folder, we'll be able to see Optifine right here. Preview Optifine 1.21.3. We can drag and drop that to our desktop right like so. Once Optifine's on your desktop, we want to open it with Java. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, select Java and click OK. Now if you have Java and everything looks good here, you should click OK and the Optifine installer will open. If you don't though, you might not have the correct version of Java, or you might not have Java at all, and that's because you need Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21 for Minecraft mods like Optifine and things like that to be able to work. Of course, this is linked in the description down below and has an in-depth text and video guide to make sure you can get Java 21. We also have the jar fix. What this is going to do is take Java on your computer and link it back to the jar files, making them work together. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix. Now at this point, we go ahead and minimize our browser and open up Optifine again. Again, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That will then open up the Optifine installer right like so, where all you want to do is click install, and after a few seconds, it will go ahead and install Optifine. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed. You also will have had to have played Minecraft 1.21.3 before. That means just play it using the Minecraft launcher, open it to the main menu, and then close out of it. Then you'll be able to successfully install Optifine. And we go ahead and click OK. The Optifine installer will close. You can actually delete Optifine on your desktop. We don't need it anymore. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and in the Minecraft launcher we should have an Optifine installation and as we can see in the Minecraft launcher Optifine is already here it's selected we can click play and then click play again and it would open Minecraft with Optifine but if you don't have this here click on installations at the top and make sure modded is checked as you can see if modded is not checked Optifine is not there but as soon as we check modded there it is click play click play again but if you still don't have Optifine here click new installation you can name this anything that you want but I'm of course going to get simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends and then go ahead and click the versions drop down. Here we can see release 1.21.3 dash Optifine. That's what you want to select here. And that's the most important part of creating this installation. I'm going to change resolution so we can see better once we get in game and now click create. Finally, go ahead and play Minecraft either using that Optifine profile that was there or the one that you created by clicking play and clicking play again. When you're clicking play twice, by the way, the second time you're just confirming you're playing modded Minecraft, which obviously you are because Optifine is a mod. From here, Minecraft will open up and Optifine will be installed. Now in Minecraft, it's actually interesting because you can't see see that Optifine's working from the main menu really, you've got to go into options and then video settings. And here it is. Here is all of Optifine settings. I actually have some shaders already pre-installed so we could go ahead and select one of those. For example, if we switch to make up ultra fast here, that'll now be active. You can change other settings in Optifine, up your render distance for example, or most importantly, do things like performance settings, detail settings, things like that to increase the performance of Minecraft. But I'm obviously going to jump into a simple game hosting server where as soon as we join, we will be able to see that shaders are active. It's actually actually crazy how much shaders change Optifine and obviously Optifine's a lot more than shaders but shaders is just a very easy thing to showcase. If we go ahead and go up to the top here you can see things like the sun giving off the shadows of the trees here as well as the volumetric clouds the leaves swaying in the wind everything looking amazing you can change your settings right in game as well by hitting escape going to options video settings all the optifine settings are here and can be updated in game including shaders so if we wanted to switch to bsl shaders we can do that and the reason 
reason I like to show off these two shader packs is they're different, very different. BSL is a lot brighter versus Makeup Ultra Fast, a little more yellow, and the shading is different, the clouds are different, so it's really cool to see the different that shaders packs can make, but you're not here to get shaders, you're here to get Optifine, and you've now done that. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.